Hey guys, Licky Giraffe here with another part of my Total War Attila Western Roman Empire campaign for you. So let's get straight into it. Uh, if you remember for last time, I uh, had some computer problems, some files got corrupted. Pretty much uh, started from turn 10, uh, it's where you guys are joined me in a new campaign of mine. Uh, so actually, I'm just gonna do one or two things. Stop that. Okay. All right. So got a new turn. Uh, as always, there were some there were some uh, battles going on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Nothing too interesting. Well, supporting, I have an army here. I'm heading down to these darn Morians. Gonna give them a piece of my mind. So get those guys to speed on over as quickly as they can. These guys, I'm going to try and attack the Picts, defeat their army, because I'm at war with them, and if I destroy this army, I might, might be able to wrangle some sort of a, uh, some sort of peace deal with them, which would be great. And then on my eastern flank, uh, not a huge amount happening. Religion. Oh, cool. Uh, not a huge amount going on over uh, over this direction. Um, it's kind of quieting down a little bit. But I want to quickly go into diplomatic view and just see who's uh, who's around me. Oh, okay, the Lugians. Hmm. Not a war with anyone or anything. How irritating. Right. Okay. So for now, I'm just gonna sit tight and. Uh, Pretty much, yeah, just defend, really, because I have lots of other things to be doing besides fighting off barbarians, because I still have a massive empire to try and run. So Britain, uh, like I said, I've pretty much just abandoned to its fate, really. You can see it's pretty damn messy. You've got Britain here, the rebel faction. You have um, other other rebels, <laughs> and then, of course, you've got the, the Geats, uh, the Ebdanians. You've got the Caledonians up here. It's uh, it's pretty nasty to be honest. Now at the moment, actually, I think this is a first in my campaign anyway. Is that all of the provinces that I haven't abandoned, i.e., Britain, are actually improving their public order, uh, which is pretty amazing. Actually, <laughs> kind of proud of myself. But uh, I'd say once this this Christian support thing goes away, I'm going to see a lot more kind of sad faces, unfortunately. But you know, we uh, we do what we can. So now I just need to pretty much try. I'll try to figure out where I can upgrade to get the uh, get the most money. So doubles my salt production. I anyway. uh, actually I wonder is there like a trade tab where I can figure out exactly how valuable each of my trade things are. Resource value eight. Okay, so it's actually pretty. It's actually pretty good. Okay, I'll do that then. I'll upgrade my salt production. Get some more of that sweet, sweet dollar. And let's see then. What else? What else can I do? Uh, nothing really going on there. Build, build, build the trade port back over that direction. Core tube. Corduba, should I say? Uh, I'm gonna leave it alone because they're not the happiest people. Magna Gracia. Uh, I think I'm gonna expand this, and I'm gonna stick in some workshops. They cost only a thousand each. Pretty fabulous. And uh, I might actually do that. Yeah, I'll do that here as well in Terra Consus. Stick in some workshops. And I actually have enough for one more, so oh, that's perfect. I'll do it here as well. Just build a bunch of workshops because they're pretty cheap. And ooh, actually, that place needs uh, needs some sanitation actually quite badly. I don't have the money for it now. Next turn, I will probably, well, hopefully, if I can remember, I'll build there because sanitation is a big deal, mainly because disease. Like I guess I haven't noticed before because I've never had such a big empire in the previous games I've played, but disease is a big thing. Like. Like what I have, let's 
I'm going to save it now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Currently, six provinces, well, six places in my empire have diseases. And like some of them are really, like, the bubonic plague is a nasty one. So I, I'm going to save here. <coughs> actually, I really must, I must delete these guys, actually, because uh, if I try to load from them, I don't know, it's really weird. They get, they get, uh, they get deleted. It's really annoying. So pretty much like this, this, this is not that I not get deleted. Say, uh, like my game spazzes out and it crashes. So I, I don't know what's wrong with those guys. But this is pretty much the one I started uh, recording again from. So actually, I'm just going to delete these guys because they're really annoying to look at. I think it's accidentally load from one. I don't want to like crash my game. Delete those guys. Cool. Nice. So save the game. I'll overwrite the file. Okay, and maybe a quick look over the diplomacy, see if anybody cares. Western Roman Empire. Wow, they really don't like me. Broken treaties. Oh, actually, yeah, I forgot. Be welcome, and may God bless your words with appropriate. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I wonder if there's anything I can, uh, I can do for them that means they won't hate me. I do kind of want them on my side. On the plus side, I kind of hope that they're too busy hating, literally hating everyone else, to uh, declare war on me. You know, kind of like don't uh, don't declare war on one of your own friends. Or or That's what I hope, anyway. The uh, the AI the may think differently. So, do do do. <laughs> Might try trade with the Lugians. Who knows? Nope. No luck. Macedonia. Welcome, Do you I guys suppose. want some trade? No, no, you don't. Maybe the Markmans. Welcome. Speak. No. That's fine. Everyone else hates me. Super. Let's have a turn. Okay, there's a the pick sailing wire. Oh well, that's fine. Hopefully they will maybe stop a port and infect somewhere else. Like I was saying, pretty much, uh, it's much better to have a bunch of barbarians fighting among themselves than attacking me. So any uh, any distraction is a good distraction in my books. Okay, <coughs> there's the Lusians with their stack. Uh, oh wow, the Morians are making uh, real incursions into my territory. This is didn't actually expect this to happen. It's getting pretty irritating. I thought they would just kind of stop at one and hold up for it. They seem to be aggressively attacking. So I might need to uh, I might need to raise an army in Spain temporarily just to uh, kind of quell well, kill these guys and take back my provinces before they do too much damage. I really can't afford like the, the instability uh, debuffs that well, they pretty much give me if they start taking more regions. And public order is flaky enough without them messing everything up. So yeah, they have a lot of cavalry. Quite a lot of range. And a little bit of melee. Hmm. Grand. So I think last time when I was fighting this army, I really underestimated just how mobile they were. I left while well, my flank really exposed. They just ran across the map and attacked me. So this time I'm gonna pretty much just try hold up some more, uh, try that kind of make them make them charge into the front of me, because uh, camels I know for a fact are very light melee cavalry as opposed to horses, so they get absolutely wrecked if they if they charge into me. Okay, so how are we doing here? Grand. Grand. Well, I think I know what I'm gonna do then. I'm gonna. I think I'm probably gonna try blockade off here, and then maybe blockade blockade off here. Should I say? Yeah, that that's an idea. Okay, let's do that. Do 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 do. do. Move those guys forward initially. Anyway, uh, actually, I might. Block off. 
Yeah, uh, no, actually, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna stick these guys here. Uh, stick my archers up here. Or is that the best place to put them? I wonder. Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. You know what, actually, I'm just going to keep them here. Stick these guys up here. And then... These guys have, what, two range units. These guys have three range units. So I'm probably going to start off over here. Run them over here, hide them for a while, and then run them in. So stick those guys over here. And then these guys, I'm going to stick here. This is like a bit of a wild card. Can go where it needed. Uh, okay, let's start the game. Alright, so move these guys over here. Start off. Then I want to move these guys forward a little. Get them good and spread out if possible. good thin line. I mean that when they engage me, their archers will have a tougher time kind of it will they'll have a tougher time hitting me. <coughs> As I'll be kind of be able to hide in their uh I'll be able to hide in well in the enemies that are attacking me. So I'll get those guys to shoot up there and then I'll probably stick I'll probably stick the archers here. Uh, can I do loose formation? Uh not quite. A little bit of a, a little bit of a burp there. Sorry about that. So I'll stick those guys there. I'll give them heavy shot bonus against infantry, and let's unpause. Our enemies mean to march into our capital and utterly overthrow us. They mean to take okay, so I'll keep these guys chilling over here until they kind of move forward a little bit, because that'll leave the archers nice and exposed. That is why we hold these Let's go get into position and get into Testudo. Which gives them super awesome, uh, what's it called? Super awesome missile defense, which is always a nice bonus. A bit more as well. So I've got the two tower thing here. <laughs> the rings esque. I should hopefully do some nice damage against, uh, against, well, specifically their horse units. So yeah, this skirmish is taking a taking nice bit of damage there. So I'll walk these guys over here. These razor raiders should get put in their place pretty quickly. Yeah, see they're already kind of running away. So I'm going to charge these guys straight into those mercenary Germanic hunters because they are actually really strong. Uh, archers, at least I think they are anyway. <laughs> okay, I'll get these guys. We're not blocking because they've used their they've used all their uh, their ranged ammunition, so I need to. Turn them around, put them into Testudo quickly before they take too many casualties. Pretty much wait until they break down the barricade. Well, actually, now would be a good time to swing into those Germanic hurlers when they're under fire with the tower. It's like a bonus morale debuff. Uh, I'll just shoot these guys. Ooh, not sure what's happened here, but my uh, my legionaries appear to have gone a little awry in their positioning. That's okay though, that's okay. Not the worst thing in the world. I just want to try to see if they can fire straight into the enemy's back. Okay, nice couple of casualties that way. I almost have the hurlers to break, which would be super duper. I'm 
one's gonna take the tower, that's fine. Can't do much about them. Cool, they're broken. Cool, and there go those guys. So I'm gonna charge these guys out here just to force them to start running. I'm gonna reposition these guys. Uh, ooh, crap, wow. <laughs> Did not notice that. Good, actually, because now if I turn my back, these guys are just gonna wail into me. So I'm gonna chase after those Germanic hurlers. So now if I turn around, these guys are gonna absolutely waste me. So I'm kind of just stuck here. I spread out, get in, get into Testudo. All right. They're on their own. I'll get these guys to finish them off. Bring these guys back here. Okay, there are my swords been broken. That's fine. Didn't expect them to last that long, actually. I actually, I actually thought the horse, char horse guys were going to charge right into their back and absolutely wreck them. I guess I was kind of lucky that didn't happen. But, uh, still a bit of a pain, to be honest. Shot now. Should I be using flaming shot? Actually, yeah, bonus, full, bonus versus calorie. Definitely want to be using that shot if possible. Alright, chasing down those guys. That's fine. And these guys are going to break really soon because there's only like seven of them left. Cool. Oh, there they are. And oh, they're shattered. Okay, so back to firing with these guys. God damn it, I picked literally the worst time to do that. I was hoping to kind of get along, like break them along this way, but that didn't happen, so. Ah well, just gotta roll with the punches. Obviously, these guys are pretty wrecked, but can't really do anything about that. Need to hold on. I'll be able to get a couple of the cavalry kills now with, uh, with, this with this flaming shot. These guys, uh, cool, they're getting uh, ground down slowly but surely. Uh, cool, oh wow. Brilliant. Uh, shit. they are archers now. So I'd like these guys to break soon so I can bring my cavalry around to uh, kill them, get them off my back, but I'm not really holding up any hope that that's going to happen. <laughs> to be honest. Perfect, there they go. It's time to shatter. Ah, crap. There go my spearmen. Just need these guys to shatter, which they should do really, really shortly. So there they go. Alright, now I'll bring them around here. See if we can get a couple of shots off with their uh might get lucky and uh and kill him since I'm almost definitely now not going to win. So I might get a lucky shot and kill our general, who knows? Speed up time here. You guys don't need to watch me fail in slow motion. Get a couple more kills, that's super. Actually, let's get these guys to charge in now. Okay, get these guys to charge straight in. See what they can do. Oh, that's Tarragon, unfortunately. Let's see if I can't get some kills on these bowmen. 
They're probably gonna take this out of one now as well. So it's they're gonna be able to regenerate all those losses I gave them. Which is again really annoying. Yeah, I really didn't utilize my, my swordsman that well. Um, in hindsight, I should have just kind of brought them in with the spearmen. Supposed to kind of leaving them out there. I can see. I, I expected. <laughs> I expected the AI to be a little bit stupid and just attack the barricade. Uh, I guess I, I underestimated them there. That's okay though. You know, we let you learn. And I will know for next time. Uh, in general, that went very well. I pretty much took out practically all of their uh, all of their caliber units. So I, I did give them a good beating. They've less than well, just over 700 men remaining. So like if I had if I had a Roman force now, say five hundred men, I would definitely be able to take them out. Yeah. So again, with hindsight, I would have already had an army created here and I would Oh okay, no, they haven't taken that. Alright, that's good. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna raise an army there at Bracara. Uh just something real quick, just a just a bunch of spearmen. And literally just go and uh quamp at them. Till they are no more. Oh, super! I picked the pick army have given my colony the plague. Brilliant! Brilliant. Super. Oh well. In any case, I'll move these guys back and around. Because I definitely don't want them to catch the disease. So let's see what else uh, build constructed. Workshop, workshop, workshop. Perfect. Ah, oh, look at that income. Nice. Okay. Oh also, yeah, I, I got a spy. Don't remember if I told you, but um, what will I do with him? I will go spy on the Rusians. Yeah, I'll go spy on the Rusians. Actually, I'll move him closer first before I actually decide to do anything. Okay, this guy. Uh, they have a choice now. I can. So no, no. I should. I should. I should. I should keep to the plan. Tama, Kusma, whatever. Yeah, so we will take that out next turn. And as for this guy. This guy, Scholar, he can reenact the legacy of Legio VI Victrix. How can I serve the people of Rome? No need, good fighters. Okay, so recruit a bunch of guys there. Uh, this guy. So yeah, I'm in two minds about whether I should attack these guys. Because they're right beside here, so I'll have my garrison, which is actually pretty significant, to attack them. Just a tough one. Like we have, what they have three regions. Aren't doing anything with anybody. Mm. Honestly, yeah, I might just leave them alone. Probably just for the best. Then this guy and this guy, I can just chill. I would be tempted actually to take out the Visigoths. Actually, you know what? That's what I might do actually. I might declare war on the Visigoths. Who are they allies with? They're Macedonia. So I'd have Macedonia. So, yeah, so what's that? Ah, uh, they're only a single state. I you know, I th actually think that's doable. I think I'm going to do that. Kind of seize this relative t well, this time of relative quiet in the empire and pretty much make a break down south Ooh, we can actually try and attack them right now what kind of oof brilliant I'm gonna actually try that now 
fair one, because actually I think it's one of my objectives is to be at war with the Visigoths. Oh yeah, it is. 8397 still quite defeated. Alaric's forces in Macedonia after the battle Alaric escaped into the surrounding mountains. Huh. I'll probably run away. Or, you know, who, who knows, maybe they won't. So, war with Macedonia. So in hindsight, I probably should have just joined the war. Uh Ooh, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Well, I'm... Mm, I'm actually going to auto-resolve this, mainly just because I do have quite a good advantage. Mm. And let's see. Let's see what our resolving gives me. Okay, cool. Pretty good. So they can regen even quicker. So Alaric is on the run. Brilliant. So now what I might do then is might send this army down here to probably raise this province. To be honest, unfortunately, because I can't be dealing with what'll be what a single single city in a province that'll probably need an army there for a little while to maintain control. I honestly just don't have the resources for that. So I probably will just raise it, unfortunately. Okay, yes, yeah, so now my bonus, my Christian bonus thing is gone. So I have to deal with all my places being sad again, which, which, which is a shame. I did kind of like when everything was happy. But, you know, you can't have everything. They're sad. These guys are really sad. Why are these guys so sad? Oh, the instability. Pain in the ass. Five turns. Mm. Consus. Chipolatania. Liguria. That's fine though. It's not a hundred. Let me worry about that for a long time. Belgica. Is doing okay. I get rid of these workshops, and actually, no, I'll keep the workshops. I need the gold. God, everywhere is so sad. Governor's house. Okay. Ooh, a lot of uh, public order. That'll stabilize that region anyway. I'll do that then. So I can't recruit any more of those. And there's no mercenaries to recruit. That's fine. So then. Oh, don't tell me I forgot about this army right here. God damn it! Oh, that is not good. He's gonna cause some havoc. Darn, darn, darn. Forgot, so that means I'm gonna have to divert this guy over here to take out that army that I totally spaced on. Uh, so that's 15, that's 15. That's an extra man. Uh, an extra two men, why not? Right, okay, that's I think everything I'm gonna do for now. Uh, oh, I can't believe I spaced on that Do second army. That is going to be a pain in the ass. Everybody still hating. Wonder if I can get any gifts from anyone. Oh. Dang. Give me some gold. I need it really, really bad. God damn it. Why is everyone so mean? 
You have my My friend. You Nobody likes me. We offer you honest welcome. Speak. Yeah, well. That's fine. I guess I'll end my turn. Uh, okay, these Visigoths are gonna wreck me. Let's see what happens. Oh, if units have pikes as well, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. How am I gonna defeat so many pike units? Yeah, come on, I've got a catapult. Ugh. Definitely gonna try. Rack him with my cavalry. I think if nothing else, if I can destroy that catapult, then I will be happy. I hate AI artillery. It just it always seems ridiculously accurate. Ridiculously accurate compared to my artillery. And it really doesn't kinda play well with my whole let's huddle into a corner and defend ourselves. So yeah, definitely priority one from my point of view. I think uh, I think I'll probably end this video now once uh once this well once I get back to being my turn or well, actually I guess after after this battle after this battle because I can I'll, I can just save it then if someone else cares warn me ah oh, jeez mega fog I hate them so much right I'm not gonna be able to do a lot if I over there, so uh, this is actually ridiculous. How am I supposed to see anything? Mother of God. Uh, of course, I can't see where their freaking artillery is. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Uh, I think I'm just going to chance it and stick them over here. As for trying to defend this place, God, it's impossible to even see what I'm doing. So they've got that direction and that direction. Okay. So three pikemen. Pikemen. Right. So these guys have only one infantry. These guys have more cavalry, so I'll stick. This guy over here at this check at the uh, this choke point, should I say? Bottom of the hill. Just, uh, just to kind of give my tower a nice, a nice angle of attack. I'll stick those guys there, and then I'll stick these guys here again at the bottom of the hill for that nice kind of uh, attack. Oh, 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 I can't deploy there. I will move them once battle commences. I'll stick this guy, I guess, in the middle. And as for my archers. Mm, there's more pikemen. Yeah, there's more pikemen over here. So I'm gonna stick these guys over here and try and get some uh, some solid attacks down on them. Do actually, yeah, they won't be able to chase me. They've only got one thing of cavalry, so I might might put this guy over here and then bring him around and just try to see if I can fire down the pikes. That might be a plan. We want a barricade. Where will I stick my barricade? Oof, don't really need it to be honest. They're all pretty useless positions. Uh, I guess I'll just stick it here. Okay. So, start off, let's move my cavalry. Actually, where is our freaking artillery? I just, I just know it's going to be somewhere super awkward and it's going to get a load of kills on my men and that's going to really piss me off. We are heavily outnumbered! Okay, so that's fine. These guys, these guys, I guess actually I'll try to set up like, where's that thing? I'll try to set them up like so. And the archers I can stick over here. And then my 
to both dudes. I will land here. the game. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. Crap, they're right. There's their artillery. Super. Just super. Okay, I guess I'll run get him over, run over here, protect the flank. The enemy draws near! Do the same with this guy, protect the flanks, it looks like they're gonna come down. These guys are attacking. Why aren't you just attacking? Jesus. I have to freaking do it with myself here. Stand here and attack them. Not that hard. Okay. They're attacking the right guys. Stupid freaking archers should hopefully now attack the right guys. And my dudes are hopefully attacking. Warband, such fun. Come on. They're not doing too good. They're holding up okay, though, but I do need to get some more uh, damage down on those levees. That's not going to be feeling the pain. Destroyed. Oh, shit, that's one. The men are broken and broken. Go some dramatic bows. Get the ass handed to them. That's fine. That's good enough for me. Enemy units have been rallied. So just run and attack those guys. You guys need to keep firing like crazy. Ah, uh, you see, great job, super job. Oh crap, they're horses. Really, really need to get them to come back. Well, he knows they might. Knock these guys out. Pretty good. Try some the Gothic Warband. Horses came back. Attack these guys, try to do as much as you can. Awesome. So my sword survived. 
running from the enemy. Wow, one year left, what a champ. <laughs> Absolutely wrecked. I got the Royal Shattered. That is amazing. Okay, cool. You get these guys over here in Toronto. This is a shameful display. This is not good. Alright, I can pretty much discount them. Kind of screwed over there. So I might just stay here and kind of hold up. Trying to see if I can get any kills. Loosen the ranks. charge and that, that on a green and I would be extremely pleased. Oh look at that like that is absolute destruction. Ah no they're they're too quick. Ah well nah, yeah, they're gone. Can't do anything with them. back here, see if I can get a couple of volleys into their side. damage and I'm actually pretty pleased with that. It'd be nice now if I kill their general. But I don't think I'm gonna be that lucky. Okay there we go. Ah well another valiant defeat too well. Oh yeah, look at that. Destroyed their pike units, destroyed, destroyed what, two-thirds of their cavalry. Oh, I didn't actually realize their cavalry cost 67 kills, that is really annoying. Archers, yeah, like, uh, archers are definitely one of those things, if you use them well, they really can turn the tide as well, because they do so much damage if you can kind of get them to the side or the back of an enemy. It's rid ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Remember, you will die. Latin proverb. How depressing. all their bike units and they're down to half health. Oh good legions went away. How nice of them. Oh, I've got rebels there, crap. Alright, 
the next turn is going to be interesting enough. I'm going to have to hopefully kill the Visigoth King uh, as well. What else will I be doing? I'll be destroying the Morian people. Pananoia. Take one sack. It's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. guy back. Ooh, Master of Soldiers. Influence cost 20. That's fine. Oh, I didn't know you could actually adopt people. That's pretty cool. Let's go through these. Another population surplus. I used to be so happy seeing those, but now like I don't really care just because like I <laughs> haven't even filled up the like spaces in like my current building boxes, let alone uh, let alone extra. Uh, religious change. Oh, Armenia has changed. Zord Zoroastrian. Great. So I guess quicker before I finish the video then. So I have the Visigoths here. I'm bringing an army over to destroy. Then I've got a Visigoth army here. Then these guys are going down to destroy. Then I've got this army coming in to give these guys a taste of the pain. And I have this army getting created to shove it to these absolute. Oh, I, just, I just hate them so much. They've just they've really annoyed me. Their stupid stupidness. Anyway, gonna save the game there. Save succeeded. All right, cool guys. As always, it was super fun uh, doing this with you, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.